In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a presentation that can be very beneficial for the restaurant business and for the chefs. And this is how the slide looks. When I click, it will show you the menu for today's date or whatever date you like to specify here. And you can add more detailed things uh, in the detail section. And when I click, it moves to the next and it will give the signature dishes like chicken barbecue. And then you can add more details about the this particular dish like ingredients and why it is very delicious or why you'd like to have it and then the second one i have talked about the grilled salmon again you can give more details to it and then the third one is the desserts and you can add as many dishes as you like in this particular presentations and at the last you can see here uh, you are using some organic food or the speciality of your restaurant so that the the customers can visit again and uh, also i'm going to just show you how to convert this particular slide into a video format so that can be copied into the usb and can be played on your television sets in your restaurants so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide and change the slide color to gray or any color of your choice then go to view tab enable the grid lines and the guide then i'm going to draw two uh, rectangles for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle and you can see here i'm just going to put the rectangle on the second line from the center make it till the end shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give any color of your choice maybe this color press ctrl d and bring it the other side again put it on the second line here so you can see here you got this and then i'm just going to select and add one more you can see here, or you can just select this right mouse click and duplicate the slide and i'm going to reduce the height of this select both of this line and then go to format and start reducing the height you can see here i'm reducing the height maybe something like this then i'm just going to disable the grid lines and guides later on we can enable that and go to insert shapes select the rectangle i'm going to draw the rectangle till the bottom here you can see let me just make it somewhat big and shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to give some dark gray color here or blue gray you can see here and here I'm just going to add the today's menu. I'll just put the menu, the word, the text, go to insert text box. And I'm just going to type menu and choose the good font. In this case, I'm just going to choose the font called Oswald and I'm going to give very loose and make it bold. Increase the size you can see here and shape of the font color, make it white and center align reduce the size and put it here you can see here this is my today's menu and then i'm going to add one more rectangle so i'm just going to add go to insert shapes select one more rectangle draw the rectangle maybe this much size and shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to give some light gray color here you can see and i'm going to make it some more transparent right mouse click go to format shape and increase the transparency you can see here and then i'm going to add the today's menu i will add the date here for example go to insert text box and i will just say for example friday say today is what 7th july and the year 20 whatever again increase make the font size white change the font to oswald or any font of your choice increase the size you can see here and if you want you can make it underline also or no need doesn't look good and this one i'm just going to give some shadow effect and then let me just add one line below i can just go to rectangle select the rectangle 
and again make this as white shape outline make it no outline and make this as white here and then below you can add the speciality of today's so i'm just going to add some text here add your menu text here whatever you feel you like to add it here and if you want you can just give some different font also for example i'll just say hand of scene so it looks something like this there's some spelling mistake let me just correct it yeah and then i'm just going to add one more uh, slide for that right mouse click go to duplicate slide and then i'm just going to delete these lines you can see here and select this gray blue gray rectangle and just increase the size it will reach here it should touch the top of the slide and then i'm just going to delete all this text and i'm going to add some different colors now go to insert shapes and select the rectangle i'm going to select the rectangle maybe i'll just put it here and shape outline make it no outline and give some different color you can go to colors more colors and you can select some nice colors whichever color you feel better example let me just select this and i'll increase the transparency effect and i'm going to add one more rectangle here where i have to add the image of the dish for example let me just select here like this shape outline make it no outline then select the picture or text field and you can see here the last time i have used by default it is coming there or you can just go to insert from file you can select the dish or the image of your dish and add it here and let me just remove this and then you can just adjust it you can see here you need to just adjust it so that it looks perfectly all right and then if you want you can just give some shadow effect i can just give here some shadow effect you can see here and increase the blur size and then we have to add the details of this dish for example let me just go to insert shapes select the rectangle again draw the rectangle and shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm just going to give a white color and then send this to back so it looks something like this and then you can add insert text box i will just say this is chicken barbecue chicken barbecue and i will make the same font oswald increase the size and you can just give the same color you can see here and then you can give the ingredients here whatever ingredients or or what's the speciality of this dish not the ingredients definitely so any speciality you can just add it here So you can see here you can just put and then i'm going to give the same and give some light color to it so you can see here like this you can make for example this is your one dish now if you want to add more dishes what i'm going to do i'm just going to select this again right mouse click select the duplicate slide and this color let's change to some other color so it looks some variations i'm going to select this you can see here and then again select this dish and again go to insert from file and select the image which you like to add it here so you can see here i've just changed the image and i've just added some way something like mint or something like that to give more uh exciting for the the diners you can see here i'll just add something like this so it gives it is more appealing actually and then if you want to add further again right mouse click again duplicate slide again change the color of this to maybe something 
this color you can see here and then again this is a desert for example i'll just put desert and this is some not chicken definite of course or this is some fish dish or whatever the name and here some desert i'll just add it and again change the image let me just remove this and this also image i'm just going to change it go to insert and select from file so you can see here i've just added the desert and then this image cherries image i can just put it somewhere here you can and let's just send this to back go to format send this back so and if you want you can just tilt a little bit so that it gives more appealing to the customers and then you can add the last slide or whatever the 10 15 slides you like to add you can just add it by changing the colors and at the end you can just simply add the thank you message now once you finalize uh, your design adding more number of slides then it's time to add the transition effect for example if i just select like this and do a slideshow it looks something like this it it's not looking appealing at all so what i have to do is i have to just select these slides from the second slide till the slide last slide then go to transitions you can see here i'm just going to select this transition called push can you see here push effect options just say from bottom and you can see here when i play it looks something like that the first menu comes then it goes to the chicken barbecue then the fish dish and then the dessert so you can see here you have to just select this or if you want something from left it looks something like that doesn't look good actually make it from bottom so it looks more appealing and once you have finalized the transition effect also you can convert this to a video and play it on your television sets in your restaurant for example let me just do it for go to file and click on the export and you can see a create video just select the video and how much time you like to spend on each slide you have to define it here for example if your text is more you have to increase the timing here more than five seconds maybe is a 10 seconds because if within five seconds the diners or the customers cannot uh, read the whole uh, menu there so you have to increase the time according to your own requirement for example maybe i can make it 10 seconds and once that is done just click on create video so the video will be created and copy to the usb and put it into your television set in your restaurant that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye